chattering cold, frosted to the bone and lifeless. It's the end of January in the Northeast. It's a freezing Monday morning. I've got an interview with a guy from the local paper. See how this goes. I'm meeting him at a cool waterfall, which will be fun. Uh, I don't like interviews. Well, I don't know. We'll see. The road to the waterfall. I've taken pictures here before. This was right around the same time last year. And here we are again. I haven't been down here in a little bit. Same. <laughs> the last time I was here, it was probably 80 degrees. So. <laughs> I just got the Mavic. I'll talk more about it in a gear video. But that's what all the beginning footage was shot on. So we talked a bit and then headed to a local coffee shop to finish up. He asked me a bunch of questions about how I got started with Instagram and really wanted to know how I actually make a living with it. I explained to him how I make my money through freelance photography and social media consulting mostly, something I'll explain more later on. Hooter. After I ran a few errands and got home, it was time for me and Huddy to leave for the Catskills. We were going to be staying in a tiny home, and I was going to work on some music. I love rides with Huddy. He just chills, and I just chill. We get each other, you know? By the way, that little triangle on my hand, it's an Egyptian hieroglyph that stands for create. A little reminder to never stop. But I love just cruising and catching up on thoughts and ideas. No outside chatter or influence. Just there in that little capsule. Favorite music playing. Just driving. Chasing the dream. Literally overlooking the Catskill River. Ah, this place was sick. Huge windows facing east, too. Mm. Nice. Come on, Huddy. Come on, Hud. The property had four tiny homes, and the owner said I could check them all out. I was the only one there for the first day. Wow. Pretty sweet. <laughs> Ooder. There was a few different styles, but I think the one I was in definitely took the cake. for most of that night, 
had some local wings and watched the ranch. I usually don't ever turn off and just relax, but like I've been saying lately, it's just so healthy to give yourself that rest and to free your mind. But then a few hours later, I was back at it for Blue Hour, because it just looks so damn good. And then the sun started to rise, and the giant windows caught all the light. It was spectacular. And I spent the next two days recording some personal stuff, doing a few covers, and hiking with Hudson around the property. I just love creating, man. Whatever it is. And these were pretty much my last few days before I had to take on the biggest project of my life. Let's go, Hooter. 